Well, I, I think that we are all part of the beloved community, that everyone's life matters, that we have to be together in our diversity, that our strength is in those differences, that every person is created in the image of the divine, regardless of their faith tradition or if they have no faith tradition, um, and that these ideals of supporting and celebrating our differences are being um, minimized now as groups are operating out of fear and operating out of misunderstanding and out of miseducation. And so uh, it's important that more than ever that we bring the voice of the beloved community into the public sphere in a different kind of way. Well, as a Christian and a faith leader, being inclusive to groups that have uh, traditionally been marginalized is part of my mission in general. And now there is a, a heightened need for that as groups are being targeted uh, by f individuals and groups that either, uh, either hate or have misunderstanding or are struggling with what it means to interact with the other. And so this call for inclusion as people of faith is to be really visible in sending a different message of love and support and unity. Well, part of what grounds me is uh, my faith and my spiritual practice and my relationship to God, who I believe connects us all. And the fact that we are all created in God's image is also a challenge in that even when people don't vote the same way that we do, we are called to build relationship. And the other thing that grounds me is um, there is beauty and heroic acts happening every day and those things don't often make the media but there's a lot of love and support already happening it's not all fear and hate and that's very grounding and i have nine grandchildren and that's very grounding <laughs>